Ozovo! Yeah, Ozovo, hey, stop! All right, it's good to be back once again on Ghana Weekend TV. This is where we give you quality entertainment content. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and also read our stories on GhanaWeekend.com. Now, it feels so great to have somebody you used to watch on television sitting right beside you. You know, this man is a great personality in the entertainment industry, you know, from dancing to to radio, DJing, to acting. You remember that man in Ephira? Ephira. His name is Jimmy Quest. A fine man. Sometimes I go now he do con rule. Now he did grow, so it be like the life when you slow down small, give the small, small boys when they come. Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> you be big man. Oh. You see, so uh, those of you who watched Ephira years ago, you may have seen this man in there. Now, let me ask Jimmy the first question. How did you end up in that series, Ephira? How did you end up being in that series? Well, it was by accident. Um, you know, Okreku is my friend. Okreku Mante? Yeah, Mark. The Deputy Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture. Yes, yes. Mark, we all, we all DJs. We started somewhere with the uh, Prime Cut before nightclub DJing and then we all shared the same studio. I, I used to test Monday someone's studio. The person was in town so I took up the challenge I go of Kripo come let's put our efforts together and resources together to make the place function it was they owe in electricity and all that. So we have to come up with how to pay for all those things. So I called the Kripo. It was at Osu near Papaya. Wow. Called Lemon Studios, you know, so we've been there and then Cox and Co we were all there before I went to Akusombo to DJ for a while and then Joy FM started, they were there. Cox and Joy uh, Okriku were there. And so I brought in about five applications to Joy <laughs> FM. <laughs> okay, we will get deeper into the, the DJ inside. Mm, so so Okriku yes. was the one who, at a point in time when he was producing the Sibria or you know, the production, he said yeah. he was going out yeah. of music to do filming produce films and uh, I happened to be in this apartment when the, the, the director of Ephira was there and you know the budget constraints so he was looking at the people that he used and then we also wanted something that would catch up quick okay so I volunteered so that's how come you saw some radio presenters like Joe Digi mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kofuri at the time was a radio gold. Yeah. And then along the line came in the Frankie Taylor and Co. All those radio presenters. So we gave it that national look. And so that's how come I happened to be in the fear. So wow. and in actual fact, I wasn't supposed to be Adomai's husband. Uh -huh. I was supposed to be Adomai's husband's friend. So what happened? So on the day of the shoot, we waited and waited and waited. The guy didn't turn up and he said, okay, so you, you, Jimmy, jump in. And so I acted as the husband. And because she's very familiar with me, we knew each other long mm, before. The chemistry so was there. She abused me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> well, so, so was that the first time you had acted in any movie series? Or? OK, so that was the very first major act in the local darling. OK, like, oh, OK, OK. A house full of tenants with okay different yeah yes. yeah so that was the first major one now i also did something rather when we if we gained grounds yeah uh, something that uh, terry terry of mm -hmm. that's the prof, now he's not a prof a school of performing arts okay uh, in our dan dancing days he was known as a robot okay <laughs> robots yeah. yeah he did it i featured in a a film that he produced at the time the name was house on fire but along the line i think the name changed that one i don't know and oh, i don't okay. have seen the movie shown i think it was shown a couple of times on tv3 or somewhere mm -hmm. yeah that's mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. you had a uh, killer in it a few other other parts. ones yeah. you did i think Susie williams was then also part of it yeah i think so wow yeah well you've come a very long way but in the furious series which of the actors did you feel comfortable um, being on set with Jojo Robertson, yes, Jojo Robertson. <laughs> why? Why Jojo Robertson? He brings a lot of life into every scene that we mm -hmm. played. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jojo was one key person who made my acting 
come out, stand out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, also because we knew each other. All right. Way before, you know, when he was doing the uh, Obra mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, at a point in time, AC Com was on Obra, used to live in our house. Wow. Yeah. So, and that brother, and he used to visit them, so that brought some chemistry, yeah. And also an old student of my school, Super SV. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> There was there was one scene in one of the series where um, you and Kofuri were standing. Kofuri saw some woman with the nyash shaking, <laughs> and then he, he went to follow the woman. Then he, his wife just came in. That particular scene. Yeah. What, what was what was the feeling like when you were shooting that scene? What, how was the atmosphere like? Okay. You know. No, I'm a corn rule, Bisa. No, you're a guy rough. We've done a lot of things. You know? <laughs> yeah, How was the atmosphere like? It was funny. I mean, when I watched that, mm -hmm. still, when I mm -hmm. see that part of the whole episode, I'm like, Tali, you this know, will be funny. Um, when you're doing some filming, yeah, and you have all the cast or characters around, you have to prove that. Because we, at the time, we were only using two cameras. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, we were only using two cameras. And uh, we don't want a situation whereby we'll cut and then start Indeed, all over, all again. over again. Because, one, the script's giving us... I, the, I, I think if you are... Uh, when we started, I've had scripts like a couple of times, <laughs> or four times. At the time, Park, we see... You know, Park Kusi, he was, used to be with TV3. Akom? Park Kusi Akom. Akom. He was a production manager at the time. When we started, we had a lot of people mm -hmm. behind the scenes here. Park Kusi was one of them. And so, you know, we have to prove that you know your stuff. Yeah. You can do the thing. Yeah. So, it's not just me and Kofri. Jojo was there. Everybody was there. You know, they were in there. Because mm -hmm. you used to act at a place called Victory Hotel. It's right behind New Japan Station. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we we're all housed there. Mm. Yes. You were all we're housed there? There, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. When it's time for production. It's only that maybe yours is very early in the morning, so they might call you in the morning. If it's in the afternoon, they give you a time, call time, like 10, and, you know, and you'll be there. Mm. So you'll catch up with whatever is going on. So yeah, we, that's how it was. Great. And so, no, nah, no. Nah, and Kofuri, you know, the thing was like she went to church, she was coming, and this girl came to visit someone. And Koku, Kofuri's knack for fresh <laughs> things. And I tried to forewarn him, but he didn't. He said, you know. Yes, so he had to come up with that. And then, you know, if you're at the time, it was very innovative because we used to use uh, the likes, the songs like the one you we used for that particular scene. Yeah, yeah, which song was that? Uh, uh, Okunchola. 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 That time was a hit too. Yeah. Know? Yeah. And there were scenes that would use Forex 4 and all that. You know, I, I brought in yeah. Forex 4 and, yeah. and, and I think book back too also. Okay, still on Ghana Weekend TV, I'm here with Jimmy Quiz. He's an actor. Should I say former actor or still actor? Do you still act? Well, I still do act. Okay. I mean, whenever I we are sometimes you do some things that yeah. is more like you're acting oh okay yeah but professionally do you yeah. still act in movies do you play roles in movies do you get roles i'm not in taking movies? up roles because now i'm looking at doing something on my own okay you know it's because you know we've grown the area to the extent that now um there must be some reward yeah. So that I won't come and tell a story and ask people to go find me like we're seeing now with current. This matter, the <laughs> GoFundMe matter, brings me to the very good question of were you paid? Okay. So like when I, you're doing like this I era. told you from the beginning, we volunteered. So yeah. volunteerism doesn't need much pay. We were working, we were all right. Mm -hmm. I was working with the Joy FM so and it was, at okay. the point I'm at Dome. So and there was nothing like and then latter parts when we started city i was i used to live here on weekends okay. to go and do okay some play some roles even on holidays holidays you know, yeah you know so, so you didn't get any money from as in oh what, Jimmy. whatever i got was not like a pay pay it was more of a transport to fill my gas of my uh, as 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 as, yeah, as, yeah. as much as 
Yeah, for appearance fee. So how 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 much did you take? What was the highest amount of money you took as TNT? Um, Those days, five hundred. Five hundred Ghana cities. Five hundred thousand Ghana cities. Yeah. Oh, Ghana. Five hundred cities. Oh. Yes. Now today. Now, today, yes. five hundred cities. Like yes. five million. Yes. Old so, Ghana cities. Yes. Oh, okay. You know. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And then two hundred. And then the, the other part is that sometimes because we use the users for commercials, then you get some money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I remember in 2006, I had lost my mom. I was wondering how I was going to go about stuff. Yeah. And I was called to go and do a uh, coral reef. Uh, what you drew? Yes. We did. We shot that at Modern Photos. You know, some of the guys who mm -hmm. are behind the scenes, one works there. So we shot that coral range at modern photos and so something came in and then paid for much fees. <laughs> nice, but we also hear that being in the entertainment industry, in movie, in in DJing, in dancing, there are other benefits that you get. Apart from the TNT, what other benefit did you get being an actor in a funeral? Other benefit? Did you get women? Well, women yeah. women you would get, yes, but it depends on the kind of woman you want. Which kind of woman did you get? Oh, some were accidents. <laughs> no, you've had two accidents so far in this conversation. <laughs> you got into acting by accident. Yes. You got the woman by accident. Yeah, the fringe benefits accident. <laughs> yes. No, no. How did the accident happen? You know... It was your fault. It, it wasn't my fault. It was the fault of people. I mean... <laughs> you know... I, I, I remember a particular... A particular scene that we played, and I also, you know, I have a wife in the future, but at a point in time, yeah. uh, the pastor was also doing things with her. Mm -hmm. So I had to go and bring, get a, a girlfriend, so, and come and show off. Mm -hmm. You know, that particular scene was played so much so that now people were like, oh, this thing, I'm sure, Jimmy, you, you are. You are you have been seen. Who, who was that? Who, who was that lady? I won't mention, but she's mention, there. mention. <laughs> who was that lady? We forgot to <laughs> mention the name. Who was that lady? I don't know what name she was called on in, in the funeral, but she is Anita. 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 Yeah. And you played the role so well that after that you decided to. Yeah. It, because you know we use this song. Yeah. Uh, 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 Rosalinda. Da, 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 da. So okay. So that part that if I would take no masum. 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 <laughs> it was done. It, we, we, we actually forwarded the song to that part because we had played something, we were dancing, and so when they got to that side, she was in braids, so we, the cornrow or something. So mm. If I would take her and then she used uh, that, it, that one to the do uh, the, the hair to do hair. that one. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, when, you know, and each time a fear is being showed, I wasn't around to watch mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i get to please and say charlie 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 we saw you what you just we just saw you when the way the thing went we, we are sure we know you so jimmy to cut a, a long story short you then the woman what do you do oh eventually something happened something happened yes eventually you know at the time i had some i married got married early in a way so i had divorce issues so oh, okay that long. was before a fear Yes, during that same period. That same period. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so period. so you had issues in your marriage yes. at the time you met Anita. Yes, because I, I then the woman was in the country and so okay. issues came up and then. So you had to get somebody to fill in the gap uh, to heal my wounds. To heal the wounds mm. and the accusations mm. played a part. So how how was that that relationship like? Did you enjoy it? So I I. I we know it was an accident, as you claim. Yes, uh, but you enjoyed I, it. Yes, I, 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 it, it could have landed us into some marriage, but it didn't work too. Because it, where I was facing a divorce issue, mm. because I didn't want big army or something. You had a child with her, Anita. Well, she has a child with me. Yes, but at the beginning, hey! beginning, pa pa pa, po. <laughs> yes, it, it was. That's what I'm saying. You see, I was trying to protect what was going on from mm. outside. So I said, okay, why don't we wait for this to be over? And then that was where we broke up. Okay. We broke up. I okay. Mean, okay. She okay. went on to marry. So I, mean, I thought that mm -hmm. what issue was between us was taken care of. Oh, okay. 
only for some years later to find out no. Well, that wasn't the, the issue still stands. You know. She also went on to marry, that's what I'm saying. Okay. And so me I, I didn't know. She so went to marry and we thought that she had given birth mm -hmm. to the person she mm -hmm. got to marry. And it was a person named the child. Oh, okay. Yes. So for us and so she's been on set even after that with the child. Mm. So I didn't see the person the child as mine. And she also didn't get, get closer to me. But the child is yours. Eventually. Eventually. Turned out to be my son. Wow. You you did any DNA test? Well or the DNA is in the in the I, loop. I don't believe in going to verify that thing. If they say only women can tell. But the woman could be lying. Well, if it's a lie, I will not say in two Nepal and Trinity, so I will not go and do that. But some people think it is a waste of time, resources, psychologically, you going through all that. No, no, I, 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 you see, I, I get to know the narrative to be different when she ran herself into trouble with the person she got married to. Okay. And I, I, there are certain features that I found or saw on the boy and I knew that, okay, certainly if you say it's mine, then certain things I've seen <laughs> makes it, confirms that. So that one there, it's not me going to do the end, you know, that money I'll use it to do something else. Okay, uh, so Jimmy, if somebody wants to feature you in any movie role now, nah, would you do it? Oh yes, I, you know, quite recently uh, Yvonne was here and I was yeah. like, uh, but if for uh, why it's like you want to return me or what? He said, no, <laughs> they, they, she doesn't believe that if they bring me a script, I would want to. I said, oh, who says? Why not? Who says? Says who? You know, and maybe it's, I'm not able to go because you know these are media job to yeah. you know and the time a lot. And yes, all that. you know, and now that my my time even is limited getting a role and maybe taking a, uh -huh. some days off to go and do if it changes that you the, the day of production changes yeah. it might affect a lot of things yeah. so that's why that's why i'm even targeting to do my own thing and more especially because now there are avenues to you know show whatever you are able to produce great and you don't need to do a full length uh, movie or uh, you only need some skits to yeah you know start making some revenue you know jimmy quest is here acting you know two accidents got into acting by accident if and then also got a woman on a set by accident <laughs> jimmy quest no those of you who watch what's cooking on uh, city tv you may have seen this man in there jimmy quest is the man who has been going around people's uh, houses now <laughs> Every food be I won't chop some. <laughs> on what's cooking on City TV, this man is always a regular feature in that particular show or on that see, show. When so, I say I, I said I entered into acting by accident, yeah, I mean it, by accident. I, I, I understand. For, yeah, because I understand. In school, I was in a drama club. Okay. When we were in school, so the thing was there. The talent was yeah, there. Yeah, and then during vacations in our area, all the guys. When we come back from school, mm -hmm. we do stage performance for the community. Yeah, oh, so, great. so it's been there. It's just that I'm, it was later that maybe I went to do a degree in uh, information studies and so it until something about. Great, me. great, 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 great. But what's cooking? You play a special role in there. Mm -hmm. uh, you are that man who would who would smell the aroma from afar, yeah. trace where the food is being cooked, and then no. What is what is the the concept about this particular concept about uh, the taster the taster general? Yes, I'm afraid Yeah, taster general. The taster general. What's cooking? What is the rule about this particular uh, concept? Well, well, you see, you have to give credit to the one who dreamed the the whole idea. Yeah, the whole idea. Yes, and yeah. you know, is the executive producer who is in the person of Samir. Sure. You know. He knows me well, he knows me, he knows me better. And what you can do. And what I can do. So he, I think, nominated me to be, because there, I, you know, when you're doing something, you, you need to study the terrain and see yeah. there are a lot of cooking shows going on. But he brought in this idea of getting someone to come and do the tasting mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and shoot up 
I mean, the costume and everything was dreamt by him. Wow. And, you know, so, and so once I've been briefed, I'll take it a notch higher. And that's what I've been doing. No, I, I love I love the show. I love the show. I love that ad you did, uh, the Creamy Plus ad you did with Jessica and Freema. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you, that character on the show looks a bit annoying. You hear me? Because me... If I won't chop my food, I won't day my corner and chop, then you every day you go dress and come chop. And now, you bought me for the show top. <laughs> and, and I've also come back, come from a background where we mm -hmm. liked to eat together. Together, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, bumping into your dinner or lunch you makes know, it me, makes me feel like, yeah, yeah are, you have people to eat with. Yeah, <laughs> you are family. And, and, and you know. I have to you too. <laughs> After that, after that, yes. you can't, you can't hear yes. the name. It's not great. The only unfortunate part is that even if it's not sweet, I cannot say it's not sweet. You just say, oh, I have to grade you. I'm on some, you know, people who say, no, you are good. I see that. I see that. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, you used to be a DJ. Are you still a DJ? Well, I'm, I'm still doing things with my sound. I, you know, that's the thing. Yeah. Now, um, I, I have equipment for sound. Yeah. So I DJ and I've been a DJ like you know yeah. from beginning onset you know, so um, there are a lot of things that I do when it comes to some of the parties I play myself because yeah. it's my peers, but some of the parties you have to guide the young ones. Yeah, and I think I've, I've trained a lot of guys who are now on their own. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So sometimes great. I even call them to come and play that's some great. parties for me. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So how did this start for you? The whole DJing thing, how, how and when did it start? Okay, so you see today we are enjoying hip life. Yes. Okay. So it started at a time when dancing was fading out. You know. That As in dancing? Yeah, the era where dance was going down. Because we were, we were feeding on dance competitions and... Uh, yeah, during your, dance, your days. Yes. Dance videos and all that. I mean, music videos. And you were dancing as well at that time? Yes, yes. And that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, when uh, Okroko was producing, yes, that's yes. where I trained him in my house. May his rest in peace. I how to he, dance, how to dance, yeah. But he couldn't dance. No, he all the moves that he did in some the small, small ones. No. Yeah, yeah. He forced. He right. yeah, yeah. the dance in the. Uh, yeah, I that's, 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 that's why. Some. That's why mm. I took him through some even at Okroko's parents' place at the uh, cantonment. Okay, you know. Okay. And so that was it. I so mean, that was it. That was the dance yes. aspect. And so when when, I, were, when, when mm -hmm. uh, the DJ and the, the media also came, Slim Buster also came in, and we were doing things together. Wow. Especially when he did Masherita. Tata. Oh, yes, so I was with him all out. And then he used to he does concerts during Christmas at Next Door. Yeah. Beach Resort. You yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah. So I have been on stage with Slim, even as he started doing his music wow yeah so and we used to travel around and, you know so the djing started at at what point at that time in the 90s you know as it is uh, in the 90s yes 1990 what 93 Oosh. i was in class three let's go on <laughs> <laughs> i mean i as it is i was djing he used to be a dancer yeah and we were friends in the na neighborhood yeah so he won uh, DJ uh, competition. competition in Benin, African number one DJ. Yeah. Uh, and so too was Kofi Kumbiosi. You know, Kofi Kumbiosi too was my mm -hmm. senior, a senior at uh, Tip Toe Lane. There was a nightclub there. Wow. You know, so I think he was the one who actually gave me the contact to go to Kofi Kumbiosi. Mm. That, you know, we met at the time KKD was on GBC yeah. FM. We used to go to him because I was dancing for KKD. BBC FM, now Unique FM. Yes. Okay. We were dancing for KKD. Mm. Yes. KKD and his posse. I mean, we were dancing anytime. Beach, you know, those times, meet me there. Lavari Pressure Beach was there. Wow. Anything. We go to Kumasi City Hotel to go and perform with all of that dancing. You know, so. I think that came for an interview at uh, GBC. Okay. On KKD's show. And I and that's where we met for a long time. Uh, you know, in, we met there, and I said, actually, this is a thing. Oh, he said, oh. And I've been recording cassettes and going to mm -hmm. play small, small <coughs> pa parties and uh, Katabaron. I mean, Okruku and I, at a point in time, organized a jam for uh, 
national service students at Katabaro in the Sioux. Okay. okay. Stepping out jam. And then we, when it's time for them to go to have their last bash. Mm -hmm. And that's how come I happened to go to Adowa, Akosomo, to start DJing there. So you did it at Adowa nightclub? Yes, Akosomo. Akosomo? Yeah. That was in 1995. Hey. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so from there, you came back to Accra? I came to Accra for more sounds. Paul? For more sounds. Sounds. Yeah, everybody who lives in Accra, Accra knows for more sounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then from there? From there to Joy FM. At Joy FM, did you start as a DJ from there or you're doing something else? No, so you see, when you enter the media, there are a whole lot of talent yeah. or opportunities. Yeah. So now I badly needed to get into radio. All right. Because that was the in thing now. Because Joy came and it was everywhere and then radio gold at the time. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> the first opportunity I had was to become the Knight Funders executive. Okay. A role I played to the extent that I was brought to the day. Okay. And then my mentor, my big brother, my everything, which is Sunnis. Okay. Moved he me was to, then at Joy FM. Yeah, he was the program's director. Yeah. There. Yeah. He was the program director for Joy, Love and then later Adum. Adum, okay. Yeah. <coughs> so in any time they needed some title of a song they're looking for, I was the one who provided it. No, so you it better be useful in the library. So mm -hmm. I, I was moved to mm -hmm. production. So I was assistant librarian to uh, our man we call archives. May Akroma. So, Akroma may so rest in peace. You know, so I was there and then the acquisition of Groove FM came about and some I our close from Joy go to Groove FM in Usu. Mm -hmm. To do the test transmission, I'll play all the songs, you know, until uh, management desi decided that uh, Groove FM be moved to Tema. Tema, I don't. And it was Christine Adom, you know. And the conversation w which I had with Kosichu, who was saying, Do you think this FM is okay or I don't, you know, what you wanted to do? Mm -hmm. uh, a kind of local, local language. language. We went for the Adom. I mean, I'm sure they've decided already, but he was yeah. running it. So that's how come I went to a dome and the test transmission there, you like, I'll be there to do play yeah, all the music. Play it. Yeah, that, because that's where you, you, you're you able to play more music. Because when actual programming starts, the music goes down, because now you, there'll be some talk and mm -hmm. some, you mm -hmm. know, yeah. So I was doing that for two years, and then in 2000, we moved to Tema to do start a do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then in 2004, April, you, you, when we say st city started in mm -hmm. November, mm -hmm. that was when it was actually commissioned. But yeah, from April 2004, I was playing test transmission here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Tell us how how was the music scene then when you were playing music compared to now? H how would you describe the kind of music you play then to now? Okay, so at the time, hip life was not coming in. Yeah. You know, so a lot more was about the R&Bs. All right. It was you go to the nightclubs and mm -hmm. everything. It was more of R&B and then very little uh, hip life. Okay. But that was when it was gaining momentum. momentum. So, and that's how come some people like Okreku ventured into the uh, production, production, music production. You know, yeah, because I remember some of the people today, they all spend the night. I was then night, okay, night uh, receptionist. Because we take calls in the night, yeah. And so there was somebody there like me to pick up the calls. Mm -hmm. So the likes of Lord Kenya, Chiami, yeah, we were those spending days. the night there, yeah. And I mean, someone that similar I mean, was right behind, lays behind Joy. Mm -hmm. I remember Okreku calling me one at the time. Now I was doing the morning shift, called me, and I went to call that Sibre. That was when he left his home to go and sing Koko. Oh, okay. Yeah. Koko, 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 yeah. Koko, Koko, uh, the video we shot it uh, in Achimota, the golf course, mm -hmm. the first one by the primary school. Mm -hmm. 
Kofi Asante was part of it. Okay. Yeah, you know Kofi Asante. Okay. And, and that day, he was even... He played a role, in, like painting and all okay. that. Or, or, or a hollow house. Whoa. <laughs> wow. It's a house, but an imaginary house. Did you ever take payola when you were DJ? Uh, if you say, did I ever take payola? We don't demand, but it comes. It's an influence. Did, did, yes. you, you, had, you had a lot of that? Yeah, did uh, it but, come? but it was coming even at the time before uh, Father Dixon them started Peace FM. Yeah. They call you, you go to uh, Accra. Mm -hmm. Bra bra, I didn't even fool me by and me mm. come, and, come, come and take the. So when go, they bring the cassette, well, no, when you go in for the CD and then they add the package, they add the package to yes, it. Yes, yes. It was juicy, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. Life was good then. Yeah, life is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you see, it wasn't something that we demanded. No, we weren't demanding, especially. It for, came with it for uh, people who were at Joy FM. It wasn't yeah. part of our training. Yeah, it wasn't part. So you as when you are coming, you know mm -hmm. that. It will either be rejected or you find a nice way of well, taking it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. It wasn't like something that we demanded. No. <laughs> and see, and, and, and like you say, um, then I will act as a consultant. Okay. Tell you, okay. And that's how come when Okriku started doing production, it was easy because he, as a DJ, he could tell the beat maker mm -hmm. in the person of Zap mm -hmm. that add this, add this, add that to, to it. Make it this is the in thing. So Coco Co, for instance was then brandy. Brandy song. Yeah. Yeah. Brandy the, the song. kick and everything. Yeah. Locking out your end those Boom. 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 You know, so uh, um, that was when goodies and co started coming and so some of them we, we give them good counsel and good advice. I love do that I do this. So for that one me I'll say I was consulting. So when I yeah. for consultants you have to pay me. Wow. Um, yes. But it wasn't like I mean, the songs that we were playing, the people themselves, they knew they haven't come to see us. Mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. when they meet you, where they can find you, then they shower you with gifts. With you blessings. Know. Gifts and blessings, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so if, if you monitor the, the DJs we have right now on radio, if you monitor how they play their music, and you compare it to how you guys played your music then, would you say we've made some progress or we, we've gone back? <laughs> it's not easy to play music. First, you have to carry your CDs. Uh -huh. Now, you only, all you need is an external drive. Yeah. And a laptop. Yeah. You know, so it's easy. And that's made some DJing very horrible. Because now people are able to tell the BPM of songs. Uh -huh. And so they arrange the BPMs. Yeah. And so when it's playing high tempo music it goes higher so it becomes difficult to drop but radio is said that it should be up and down okay up and down you don't need to because you step up you know yeah you the person to the wants to sing like the bpm so it should be if yeah, it is if yeah. it is 110 110 throughout because i mean gone are the days when in a nightclub they are jamming they are jamming then then the dj will say it's time for sunguchi mm -hmm. they drop the Rhythm down comes to, down to cool music. You know, in dance you can hold your partner and dance. Yeah. You know, feel the yeah. Touch it, touch it, and bend over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, so even when I was at Adwa, I mean, uh, I played for May So Rest in Peace, ex president Rollins okay. and his wife. Okay. You know, you know, I remember playing, and they. Uh, they have a particular song mm -hmm. that they like, a Michael Jackson song. I won't tell anybody. They know. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to this channel and also read our stories on GhanaWeekend.com. Bye-bye.